Whoa. Hold it. Nobody move. Except me. How bad is it? Bad. Whoa. You're repeating yourself, Lucky. What is it with our kid in disaster? He's used to it, honey. He's used to it. Well, he won't be used to it when it happens to his bedroom. Can we fix it? Yeah, we can fix anything if we're in the mood. This is hopeless. Well, uh, look on the bright side. Which is? We've always wanted a bedroom with a skylight. This is most unpleasant, Edward. It's not an afternoon tea, dear. It's a corporate board meeting, and there's a great deal at stake. I know. It's palpable. Oh, I just hope it doesn't drag on forever. Given a reasonable amount of time to pitch my proposals, I can be very persuasive. You'll have time. I'm not so certain your grandfather will allow it. We'll force it. Now, don't let him intimidate you. Do I look intimidated? No, this is unconscionable. Let's say we get this meeting up and running. Not without Scott. Well, then why don't you toddle over to the phone and find out what the hell's keeping him? Not that having Scott here is going to make one whit of difference, hmm? Because you're already dead in the water. <laughs> The police should have been here by now. I'll get it. Sean, hi. I'm glad you're here. Why? What's wrong? Scott, this might be it. Yes? Lucy, has Scott left yet? Who is this? Ned. We're holding up the ELQ board meeting for him. And frankly, it's getting a little annoying. He's not here, Ned. Why don't you just go ahead and have your stupid little board meeting without him, okay? No, it's not okay. Well, live with it. You have to do something. All right, about, about what? It's Scott and the baby. Sean, for God's sake, they've been kidnapped. What? General. Uh, we were here, uh, Scott and, and me and the baby, and, and she was nursing, and everything was fine. Do you know she, she doesn't even have a name yet? Isn't that L silly? L Lucy, baby was nursing, and then what? Right. Uh, well, I happened to mention to Scott that um, she had a little congestion in her nose, and he completely overreacted. So he called the hospital, and uh, he asked for Steve, and he told Steve plan on them being there to wait. He was coming. And I, I had a little break, so I, I was tired. I thought I'd take a nap. And um, there I was sleeping like nothing was wrong. Well, that's when I came home. Uh, the car seat and the diaper bag were on the front porch, so naturally we knew something was wrong. So we called the hospital, but they hadn't shown up there. I should have known. Then what happened? Uh, Felicia came home, and a man stopped her as she was coming in. He said that uh, he had something that uh, he wanted me to have. Would she deliver it? And she didn't think anything about it. All right, what about this package? The package, um, it had a yellow sweater in it that Dominique had started to um, make. And then Gail finished it. Sure, it's babies. Uh... Of course I am. Scott dressed her in it himself. Oh, and, and there was um, a note. Uh, I, I've tried not to handle it too much, you know. It, it just said that they would contact me with further instructions. 
and that I wasn't to call the police. Well, you did the right thing. Yeah, but, Sean, look, if something were to happen, because I did, you know what? Say you had to call Sean. Anybody would have done that. I would have done exactly the same thing. Okay. Uh, now what? You know, obviously, this is all about money. So you can probably expect a call for ransom demand. In the meantime, I'll set the wheels in motion by putting a trace on the phone. Uh, so we get all incoming calls, but you're going to have to stay here. You just think I have to sit and wait? Just sit no, and no, wait? No, no, no. I'm going to find Felicia. I'm going to get a description of the man who delivered the note. I'm going to post two of my men outside this building just in case they show up again. She's going to need food, Sean. She's going to need food. She's going to be getting hungry. Don't worry. You're not going to let her starve. Look, if these people want money, they know they're going to have to keep Scotty and the baby very healthy. In fact, it'll probably make them move faster. They just... Just hang tight, okay? All right? <sighs> okay. Uh, Lucy, don't worry. You'll, uh, you'll hear from them very soon. I move that we postpone this meeting until Scott gets here, or he can send a proxy. I second the motion. Oh, I'll bet you do. But we have a quorum, and I don't think that Baldwin shares are going to make much difference. I say we move forward. All in favor? Mm. Done. All right, now the uh, first order of business. I move that we dispense with the reading of the minutes of the last meeting. Excuse me. As secretary, I object. I have them all ready. Well, Lila, we were all here. We know what happened. I wasn't. We'll send you a copy. I also move that we dispense with the treasurer's report. Why am I not surprised? We all got a quarterly report. Even you. We're making money, and that's all we need to know. Edward Quartermain, you, as usual, are completely out of order. Well, it's my company. And if I can't be out of order here, where can I be? Hmm? <laughs> twisted logic to that. <laughs> Grandfather, if you insist on steamrolling your way through this meeting, we'll leave. And then you won't have a quorum. I'm trying to get to the meet, Ned. Now, we all know why we're here. Hmm? Why waste time with frivolous nonsense? Tell us what you have to say. This is very illuminating. You've all read my proposals. Phase one consists of converting ELQ's petrochemical plant into a recycling facility for plastics that will be turned into building material. Phase two requires building a toxic waste incinerator. Now, the cost outlay and time frames are in the proposals, so I needn't repeat them. But I would like to point out that the time is ripe in Washington for this type of environmental project. Now, that'll help us streamline the approval process and enable us to take advantage of certain tax benefits. Excuse me, I still think the mere suggestion of putting a toxic waste plant in the middle of Port Charles is going to cause quite a hue and cry. We launch a massive public relations campaign and education. Now, you see, when the locals understand that the incinerator is not only non-polluting but beneficial, ELQ will be seen as a company of great vision. Why don't we consider the project separately? Maybe do the conversion now and then the incinerator part of it later on when the natives aren't so restless. Well, the problem, Alan, is we need to jump on it. There isn't a comparable operation like it in the entire Northeast. But nobody else is foolhardy enough to put out that kind of money. They'll all be on the bandwagon, believe me. And it would be misguided to let an opportunity like this pass. Oh, what's misguided is your apparent belief that you can weasel your way in here and dictate what you want to do with my company. Huh? I never meant any disrespect, Edward. Just an opportunity that benefits us all. I certainly would let you retire in comfort. Oh, don't put me out to pasture yet, huh? <laughs> I say let's vote. A vote would be invalid without Scott. We don't have to make it final, Ned. The, I just would like a, a sense of the room. Hmm? You're not afraid to see which way the chips are falling, are you, son? Not the least. <laughs> I say let's vote. Sidewinder. This house ain't big enough for the both of us. 
Uh, put your money where your mouth is, you big belly. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, oh, you got away with our Winchester. You low life, but come close, because you cheated, you tobacco chewing. Whoa, you skunk eyed. Whoa, get it. Ah, no, yeah. Come on, Have I, I want to clean up. Stop it. Oh. Well, I guess we better circle the wagons. Looks like the school marm's <laughs> angry with us. Go on outside, breathe some fresh air. Go ahead. Go on. Hey, whoa, you on vacation? Make yourself useful. <laughs> you low life horse thief? You skunk eyed scoundrel? You sidewinder? <laughs> Let me see that. Honey, watch out, dear. Watch this. Whoa, watch out, watch out. Oh, yeah. Definitely the roof is our first priority. Oh, hell. It could have been worse. One of us could have been standing here. Couldn't it? It worked. Hey, you're taking my rifle, woman. What am I gonna do with the Cisco kid comes back into town? You're not funny. What? It was a game. To you, maybe. Okay. I'm listening. What is it, sweetheart? You don't want Lucky playing war games now? Y you know me better than that. Then what is wrong? Well, you'll make fun of me if I tell you this, but... Try me, baby. I thought that the house wanted us. I thought we were going to be safe here. But I'm not sure now. It isn't a house, is it? Tell the truth, Laura. It's me. Yes, it's you. What do you want me to do? That's helpful. It's just that you're skating on such thin ice with this Frank Smith thing. Thank you for the faith in me. I have always had faith in you. This is different. You're talking about somebody is going to die, and you're asking me to stand by like an obedient little mobster wife and have dinner on the table while you become an accomplice to murder. That is not acceptable. Just what is acceptable, Laura? A better way. There is no better way. Tell Joe Garfield. What do you care about Joe Garfield? Joe Garfield is a pig. He wouldn't think twice about killing me, you, or anybody else. That's something you have in common. I'm going to choose to believe that you don't mean that. Let's get this clear because apparently it wasn't the first 50 times I said it. So I'll say it slowly. Joe. Joe Garfield knows that I'm one of Smith's men. Like it or not, the fact is, I'm already on Joe Garfield's Christmas wish list. I'm in for the duration. And the only way through it is to see it through. See it through. It. It being bringing an assassin into the country to kill this Joe Garfield. I don't see how you think that you're going to be able to pull this one off. The same way I always do, sweetheart. With my head. Yeah? And what about your soul? Will that come through intact? Okay. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful.
way you want to do this. That would be just fine with me. I think I can do that. I think I can do it easier than you can. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's our only other choice, baby. No, it can't be. How long could you run this time, Laura? Eight years, ten years? And how happy are you going to be? You're going to have to give up everything that you ever wanted. Don't you dare throw this back on me. You're the one who wanted another life. Not if it means that you have to take part in a murder. No! No! God! No! Trusted Sean. Why can't you? No, Robert. Robert didn't have any reason not, not to trust Sean. I do. I do. But that was so many years ago. Why can't you just I can't trust the cops? I have never trusted the cops. Don't ask me to do that. I don't trust anybody. You don't even trust me, do you? You are the only person I trust. I trust my instincts. This can only turn out badly. Why are we doing this to each other? Come on, baby. Come on. It's not like this is the first time my life's been in danger. It's different this time, Luke. There is no way to win. Can't you see that? You're either going to be dead, or you're going to have sold your soul. It's the same thing. You're talking of that. It, you are turning into them. All the Smiths and the Garfields of the world. How can you say that to me? Because you have become so obsessed with trying to destroy them that you're becoming just like them. No! In order to do this. I will not listen yes, to this! you will listen to me. No! Smith. Listen to me! Because I will not stand by and watch you destroy yourself. No! No! Is this fighting? What are you guys fighting? Tell them. Me, huh? Why are we fighting? Well, you snake-eyed hombre. You couldn't ask a simple question, could you? Well, your mother and I are having a slight disagreement about a little job I have to do. What kind of job? Well, let's just say that it's a, a job that I have a certain commitment to and I feel an obligation to complete. No matter what the consequences are, why don't you just compromise? Mom always said if you don't see eye to eye on something, then you should compromise. Something else we don't agree on? Compromise isn't the answer to everything, Lucky. Some things can't be compromised. Some things shouldn't. See, it's not just a matter of a difference of opinion here. It's sort of like, well, your mom and I are in a black and white situation. I think I should do it. She doesn't. I'm not following. Lucky, I'm doing everything I know how to do to get us out of the situation that we've been in for so long. You'd like that, wouldn't you? 
to feel free, to not have to always have your guard up. Of course. It's not fair. Your mother and I may never see eye to eye on this work situation. But you're wrong about one thing. I'm not like them. I'm not. My back is up against the wall, and I'm grabbing at any straw I can find to try and get us out of this mess. I love him. And I love you. Mom? What do you say? I guess we have to trust your father to be very, very smart about his choices. To take care of himself as well as us. Oh no! You know I I should I shouldn't I shouldn't have given Sean that sweater. Oh Lucy, you had to. Uh, it's evidence. No, but, uh, she's going to need that sweater to keep warm. I shouldn't have done it. Oh, boy, I shouldn't have called the police either. I shouldn't have called them, Bobby, if something were to happen, because you I... You did the right thing. Sean has dealt with kidnappings before. Right. Oh, boy. The baby has to eat. She has to eat soon. I, I can feel it. Listen, uh, Scott is not going to let anything happen to that baby. You know that. You know he will lay down his own life before he will let anybody hurt her. Ring. Just ring. Why would it ring? Uh, yes? Lucy. Oh, my God. Marcus, oh, listen. my God. Listen, you go to the top left drawer of the dresser, you're going to find a packet with a lot of cash, my checkbook, and my passport, and bring me a coat. Okay, okay. All right, then I want you to pack a bag for the baby. What? Scott, why? What am I... And meet me, meet me at, uh, at Dominique's grave. All right, fine, but Scott, Scott, what are you going to do? I I'll tell you everything when I see you, now hurry up, all right? And be careful that you're not followed, and whatever you do, don't tell anyone. did it. You were right. It's a girl. And she's got your eyes. And she's got your smile. You know, I never, ever felt like a winner until this baby was born. I'm gonna take great care of her, don't you worry. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm taking you with me. Every time I look at her face, I want to be thinking about you. I'll see you. grabbed us, these goons, I don't know, I think they're working for the mob right in front of the brownstone. They, what, what on earth would they want with you? Well, they're, they're on a delusion that I'm, I'm going to finance their, their operations here in Port Charles for the tune of a, of a hundred million dollars. 
Well, well, that's insane. You're right, it's not going to happen. Okay, then what is going to happen? I'm, uh, I'm going to leave the country and I'm going to take the baby. What? Lucy. Wait a minute. God, you can't do that. Lucy, you don't understand what happened. I mean, what these people were like. I mean, they tied me up and then they, they, they had their hands all over her, you know? And I, I've never been more scared in my life. And, and, and I was murdered at the same time. And I, and I, but I didn't care about getting revenge or about getting even with these people. All I wanted to do was to protect the baby, protect our baby. Okay, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with you. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. Uh, just give me 20 minutes, I'll go pack a bag, and then we'll take her and go far listen, away, okay, listen together. Listen to me, you can't come with me. You gotta stay here, and you gotta act as a decoy. Why would you use a decoy? Well, because, you know, I mean, they know that I'm gonna try and get in contact with you. So, I have time to slip out of the country. You just tell Sean. He'll protect you. Look at this. Sean knows. He already knows. I told him what happened. He just, he just doesn't know that you got away. Well, then tell him that. Tell him that, that and, and everything will be fine. You know, he knows what to do. Where, 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 are, you, where are you gonna go? I can't tell you. You're lying. You know. You're lying. You can. No, I can't, because then you would just be in jeopardy. I'm begging you, Scott. Listen, you know, you you were almost dead a week ago. You're still very weak. I, 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 I can't worry about both of you two. I'm strong. I can do it. Please. Please. No, no stay, stay here. Stay here and you, you act as our safety net. Oh, Scott. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I just want you to follow the plan. Don't. Don't try and find us. What about your life? What, what about your business? You know, business is here. Paul can take care of that. No, no. And I already gave my ELQ stocks to you. you. you there was a meeting, you know. You can't miss meetings. You missed a meeting today. Ned said you missed a meeting. I was a little busy. Come on, you, you're in charge. Now you're in charge. You can handle all of this. I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Was there anything else? Take care of yourself. Sometimes uh, things have a way of turning themselves around, you know? about him and what's her name? <gasps> She's called Lucinda. Serena. Serena? Yeah, I, I thought of it because 
You know, it, it reminds me of Dominique when she was a little girl at Serenity. I like him. Oh, you do? Really? See if Dominique likes it. <sighs> Serena Lee Baldwin. What do you think? are falling on the bed at least that's what she said they're dropping on her head it's not the way it goes it's my song i'll sing it any way i want it's stupid hey you hey you what i thought we had an agreement never to go to bed angry so? 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 So we've only broken that a zillion times. Oh, shoot! Well, why don't you go where it's dry? Where? Tucson. No, honey, I'm just joking. You know, over here, a little closer. Come on. Come a little closer. Come a little bit closer. Ooh, a little bit closer now, baby. There you go. See, that's the safest place in the house right there. Says who? Me. Sing it again. Yes, ma'am. Raindrops are falling on the bed. They're falling on her head. At least that's what she said. <laughs> ooh, raindrops are falling. Ooh, ooh, I like it when you do that. <laughs> what? Hmm? what? Mm, laugh. Keep laughing. It sort of resonates, you know, all up and down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop it. I hate it when you do this. Do you hate it when I do this? I hate it. I haven't done it yet. I hate it. Ooh. Ooh. And do you hate this? How about that? Oh, huh? with a passion. Mm -hmm. Oh, something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't hate it. I'll bet you. 